to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hengsha Court Gardens? It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. to get worried. She missed three days of work already. You don't think... Chan? For Ning's sake? I hope not. May is worried, though. Speaking of May, is she still downstairs arguing with that girl? Where else would she be? That girl is seriously going to get herself into trouble one of these days. If that were the case, she'd already be in trouble. Between you and me, I'm starting to think Chan's afraid of her. If you're looking for a friend, I'd head downstairs. A lot of girls looking for the company of a handsome man like you. Hello, sir. We are on break. But if you would like to talk to one of the girls on duty, just head downstairs. Access granted. Get word to Pritchard, Malik. The hacker who's been attacking us goes by the handle Windmill. Real name's Ari Van Bruggen. Bell Tower's been brought in to arrest him. Arrest? Or get rid of? Either way, he found out someone was gunning for him and took off. We need to find him. There's a nightclub near where I dropped you called The Hive. It's notorious in black market circles. If this Dutchman is running, his first stop will be there. I'll have a chat with the owner. Jensen, figured you might want to heads up before you stroll into the hive. The owner's name is Tong Si Hung, Tong being his last name. Rumor is, he's tied to the triads. China's organized crime lords. How wonderful. Anyone else want a piece of this pie? The hive is a member's only club, Lao Wai. Without a membership card, I can't let you in. You telling me I gotta pay to get into this dive? We've got a reputation to keep. Can't let just anyone get in here. Just anyone with the money. No pay, no play. You want in or not? Here, take it. Thank you, sir. Here is your membership card. Welcome to the Hive. I'm sure you will enjoy our establishment. Here. Yeah, you could say that. Good. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, 
I'm sorry, Guaylo. Mr. Tong Tsi Hong sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Do us both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. What do you do? Steal your girl? Owe your money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already, because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need help. So stop wasting my time and take me to Tong. You've got it backward, boy. You wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about. You expect me to fall for that? Small timers don't attract this much attention. They don't have bell tower soldiers staking out their apartments. Van Bruggen's pissed off somebody big. And there's no way Tong's going to ignore that kind of development in his town. You... smarter than you look. Yeah. Tong is keeping a close eye on things. Like you said, he's no fool. Van Bruggen is the hottest thing in town right now. But nobody in Hengsha is going to let an outsider in on the action. Especially not a Guaido. You don't know the rules of the game around here. You see that bodyguard over there? If you're gonna play tricks on the Guaylo, you gotta train your people better. Everything about him is shouting out who you really are, Mr. Tong. Now how about we go someplace private? Unless you want everyone in the club to know what you're hiding. Fine. Fine. I'll meet you in my office, downstairs in the basement. The boys will let you through. So, we got some privacy now. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraph Industries ring any bells? Seraph Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? You still in business? Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden Pods, Capsule 301. Place is a rat hole, but it's useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. That's all you get from me, Lawai. Capsule 301. Alice Garden Pods. That's where you're at. Malik, you were right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden Pods. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interference? No. Don't put yourself at risk. I'm heading there now. Hey. Leaving already, tough guy. Because you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby? The bartender. The real bartender, that is. <laughs> Thanks. I just might check that out. You do that. You got a favorite poison? Looks like Tong's running a nice operation here. You for hire? Because a suspicious man might not appreciate you asking. 
A suspicious man might also wonder what kind of job gets handed off to strangers. But all right, I'll bite. What are you offering? I got the problem I need solving. Trouble is, none of my usual guys are available. And this problem? It involves a woman. Someone who owes Tong Operation here some money. Getting it out of her is proving to be... difficult. It's a dirty job, but it pays well. You interested? Tell me more. I'm listening. That's what I like to hear. This woman, Jaya, she's a broker. Highly competitive field in Hengsha. But without the right skills, her business wasn't doing so well. So, we helped her out. Gave her a nice social enhancement upgrade chip, so she could understand her client's needs. Now, it's time to pay us what's due. But she says she won't. So basically, you want me to be your collector? Yes. But it's not as simple as that. The girl's gone into hiding and thinks we won't find her. But she also took her phone and computer along to keep her business alive. Not very smart. Assuming you've got the equipment to track those. We don't exactly. But we know someone who does. And that's where you come in. Bao Tower set up a surveillance network around town. A series of relay antennas. I need you to hack them. Three relays should be enough for us to access the database and triangulate Jaya's position. Then I go get your money. Exactly. The first relay is on the rooftop of a four-story building in the Yu Zhao district. I assume you've got an info link and Wayfinder package in those fancy orgs of yours? I'll upload the coordinates and then contact you once you've hacked in. I see you found the first relay. Now hack it and turn off its security protocols. Access granted. Good. Second relay is down. Only one remaining. Excellent work. I'm starting the triangulation now. Should have a location very soon. And... I've got it. Jaya is hiding in an apartment building called the Hengsha Court Gardens in the Yu Zhao district. I'm sending you her coordinates. Get over there and get us the money she owes. Who are you? Another one of Tong's thugs? Well, get out! 
I told him I won't pay another credit. It's nothing personal, lady. I'm just here for the money. Give it over and I go. Sure, it's nothing personal to you, but it is my money you're stealing. Stealing? They got you the augmentation you needed, and they expect you to pay for it. Not the most charitable thing to do, but I would hardly call it stealing. Are you really that gullible? Tongue doesn't run a buy now, pay later operation. It's more like a buy now, pay forever. Listen, I just started as a broker. Most other brokers come from rich families. They paid for augments that give them an incredible edge in the business. There's no way I could afford anything like that through legal channels. So you cut a deal with a crime syndicate? I didn't study this hard to end up with nothing. Once I made enough money, I offered to pay for the AUG. But no, what they want is part of my monthly profits. They say they're entitled to it since it's their upgraded enhancement chip that helped me make that money. Look, I understand you were right. I'm not questioning that. But you've been through enough to know the world doesn't care about who's right or wrong. It's all about power. And right now, neither of us have it. As much as it pains me to admit it, you're right. What do you think I should do? I'm just asking you to give me the means to make sure this situation gets resolved. What are you saying? Give up the chip? Give them back what they sold me so they no longer have any leverage? But... but that means... Oh God, you're right. Uh, here, take the chip. They can't tax me for a service I don't use. Oh, I doubt they'll be that understanding. But I'll make sure they leave you alone. You've done the right thing. What can I get you? Hey, about that job? You found Jaya yet? You need to get back the money she owes us. Here's Jaya's augment. I guess this means your investment has been returned. What are you talking about? Where's the money she owed us? There is no money. This was not our deal! Maybe not, but think of it this way. Jaya was becoming a problem. I helped you get rid of that problem. This wasn't helpful at all, Kuai Lo. You've caused me more trouble than anything else. You can forget about our deal. What can I get you? I'll try the slum dog. On a budget, big player? The label might not look like much, but the taste is even worse. Enjoy! Jensen, I... I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Malik. Jensen, if you even think of using that Casey mod on me, I will hit you. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just concerned, that's all. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. 
They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. This autopsy report. Once you got your hands on it, what were you planning on doing next? I... I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm a pilot, not a cop. But I just... I felt I had to do something while I had the chance. Maybe once you get the report and we know what it says, we can... improvise. Why do you suspect Evelyn's boyfriend had something to do with her death? Because he was poison, right from the start. Born into money and influence, but never once assuming responsibility for anything. I don't think he's worked an honest day in his life. So he was a wealthy, big-headed asshole. If that was reason enough to accuse someone of murder, half the world would be in the pen. No, there's more to it than that. He's known for violent outbursts, domestic altercations. He nearly killed a kid over some stupid gambling feud. The problem is, his family made him untouchable, even to the police. And Evelyn was okay with all of this? She... always tried to see the good in people, give him the benefit of the doubt. You could say that's just being naive or even stupid, but I think she was just... innocent. Tell me about Evelyn. She was beautiful, carefree, loved to have a good time. I met her during my internship for a private transportation and logistics firm here in Shanghai. She was a great pilot, too. Knew how to feel the currents, to push the bird just so. Too bad her talents for reading the wind didn't translate to reading guys. How so? She was always getting into trouble with the wrong crowds. And it always had to do with some boy. She knew I didn't like him, her boyfriend at the time, Lee. It drove a wedge between us, and when we parted ways, it wasn't amicable. I understand. She was a good girl, Jensen. She deserved better. You said you've seen the police report. Who gave it to you? An old friend, who was also a good friend of Evelyn's. He used to work for the Shanghai PD. He left a copy of it, along with a few other things concerning Evelyn, in a pod here for me to look at. He also left some instructions on how to contact someone at Lim for the autopsy report he's convinced was intentionally buried. Why would Lim have anything to do with Evelyn's autopsy report? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Chinese government has been outsourcing branches of its public services for years. Bell Tower polices the streets, and nowadays Lim does more than just cosmetic surgery. They're often contracted for special cases like Evelyn's. And what made Evelyn's case so special, you think? Her boyfriend, Lee. He was at the scene. He had Evelyn's blood on him and tested positive for alcohol and drugs in his system. With his rap sheet, it wasn't looking good for him. But his family, they're on a lot of boards with deep pockets and a lot of reach. They wouldn't suffer the embarrassment of having their son indicted on a suspected murder charge. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay, anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's... incident? Newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen.